Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to install and configure a Samba server on Ubuntu to share files on the local network. And here are the steps. To install Samba on Ubuntu, simply run the following command in terminal. If you have enabled the firewall on Ubuntu, then you need to open the above ports in the firewall with the following command. To create a public share without requiring username and password, the following conditions must be met. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to create a public share. First, open and edit the Samba configuration file. In the global section, make sure the value of workgroup is the same with the workgroup settings of Windows computers. Then scroll down to the bottom of the file and paste the following lines. Save and close the file. Next, create the public folder. On a Windows computer that is in the same network, enter backslash backslash followed by the IP address of Samba server to access your public folder. In this section, we will see how to create a private Samba share that requires the client to enter username and password in order to gain access. The main Samba configuration file is located at slash etc slash Samba slash smb.conf. You can edit it in terminal with a command line text editor like Nano. In the global section, make sure the value of workgroup is the same with the workgroup settings of Windows computers. Then scroll down to the bottom of the file and paste the following lines.
Save and close the file. Now we need to create a Samba user. First, we need to create a standard Linux user account with the following command. Replace username with your desired username. You will be prompted to set an Unix password. After that, you also need to set a separate Samba password for the new user with the following command. Create the Samba group. And add this user to the Samba group. Create the private share folder. Now all left to do is to restart Samba. On a Windows computer that is in the same network, enter backslash backslash followed by the IP address of Samba server. Then double click the shared folder. To access the private share, you need to enter the Samba username and password. Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe.